Hey foodies, Chef Pete is here. Cinnamon spice and everything nice. That's what's on the menu today. We're making cinnamon and spice donuts. But these are baked donuts and these are done in the oven. And these, oh, I showed you the pan. This is a little pan you can buy. You can uh, Google this. You can go to Amazon. You could go to your baking store, whatever you like, and you'll find these. These are made for baking donuts, okay? So we're going to make a baked donut. So I have some sugar over here. I have some milk, about a cup and a quarter of milk. And I have here a lightly beaten large egg right there and some vanilla. Alrighty, I have some vanilla. And here I have, actually, um, I'm going to, where's my fork, here we go. Here I have some butter that is melted. About two tablespoons. Okay, about two tablespoons of butter. Let me get it all out of here. Okay, that's our fat for this uh, dish. And in this bowl over here, I have a couple of uh, cups of flour. I have some cinnamon, some cloves, and some baking powder, okay? And just a little salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to mix this all up together, just like this, so we get all of our spices in with our flour, everything nice. This is such an easy recipe to do. You have these pans. What you need to do with these pans is get yourself some of this baker spray and just spray them just like that on the inside, okay? It has flour inside. Just make sure you, if you spray it like that so that you have it uh, on the inside so it doesn't get stuck, okay? All right, so then what we're gonna do is take and I'm gonna mix up all of this wet stuff here real quick. It's just, it doesn't take long to put this together. We're just gonna mix up the sugar and the milk and our egg. You can, by God, yes you can, and our butter, you can use a mixer if you want. Sure, absolutely. I have the oven preheating at 350. These are gonna take, oh, probably about, uh, oh, 15 minutes or so, maybe a little more. Just get yourself one of these beautiful wooden sticks like this, and then you can test it. It's a cake donut, because that's what we're making. And a cake donut is what it is, so, that being said, it's going to be treated the same exact way. We have baking powder in our flour mixture over here, so it's going to be treated the same way. When the, your little testing toothpick or stick comes out, it should be clean and not with anything there in it. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to mix in our flour. You just need to get this mixed in, just like this, mix it in. You don't need to make a big production out of this because we're going to spoon this, or you can use a uh, little cup measure, or you can use a piping bag if you like. Uh, about three quarters full into these pan, into the pan, our donut pan, okay? About three quarters full. And we're just gonna mix this in just like this, all of our flour into our wet mixture. Everything goes like this. And we have all, of, look at the spices, the spices and everything nice, like I like to say. This time of year, we turn on our ovens and we make everything nice, right? Okay, so when we come back, I'm going to show you how easy it is to fill these and then we'll get our first batch into our oven. So this is Peter Carpizzas. Don't forget to share, like, and enjoy our videos. We have thousands of them up. Go to our beautiful, beautiful page, our subscribing page, and our banner page and take a look and see what we have. So this is Peter Carpizzas. We'll be back. We're going to fill them up and get them in the oven. Pete out!